All right, so 5.1 to go. This was your assignment that was assigned today. Just going to run through this real quick. Uh, it's pretty basic. It's pretty easy. Just diving more into geometry. A couple of new concepts to talk about uh, or basically define, and then that's pretty, pretty easy. When we look at geometry, question number six, all right, if you look at it, it says for two angles to be a linear pair, we talked about that yesterday, they form a line, they must share a vertex and a side. So here we have a diagram where we have two linear pair. Okay, They share a side, this here being the side of both angles, uh, and the sum of their measurements must be equal to 180. So if I add these two together, they equal 180. Right? We call those supplementary angles. Think about that they add up to equal 180. A lot of things in geometry will tell you what needs to happen. All right? They add up to be 180. Well, all right, if they add up to be 180, then question mark plus 60 should be equal to 180 degrees. They add up to equal 180. The disconnect that I see it a lot of times in geometry versus like algebra is algebra will give you this problem and say solve. Geometry doesn't give you the problem. They give you a diagram. You have to create the problem and solve. Well, you saw how easy it was to create this problem. In math, however, we don't use question marks or exclamation points or things like that to represent an unknown. We use a letter. You can use any one you want. There's 26 of them to choose from. So here, I'm going to use x to represent my question mark angle. x plus 60 is equal to 180 and you simply subtract 60 from both sides. This is your statement. Use your justification as to how you get 120 degrees, excuse me, to be your answer. If you just say 180 minus 60 and show me 120 and you do this, you are not going to get credit for it. That is wrong. That is unacceptable. Why? Because I need to know that you understand the concept of one angle plus another angle is equal to 180 degrees. That is what you're saying when you make this statement right here. This doesn't say anything. This just says you can subtract 60 from 180. That's what that says. All right. So here's all of your work right here. The diagram, this right here. That's as little as you need to show. None of this garbage. Now, when we move to question 11, they step it up just a, just a tad. Now, all of a sudden, they give me this. They want me to draw a diagram, create an equation, and solve. And you're going, oh my gosh, it's so much work. It's really not. What you really have to understand is you really have to understand what this means right here. And I want you to go ahead and I want you to box or circle this right here. And I'm going to explain to you what this means. The lowercase m with this little symbol here means the measure of angle. That's how we say that. And they shorten it because I don't want to write the word measure of angle all the time. So they abbreviate it. Measure of angle ABC. All right, is equal to 72 degrees. So again, we're still talking about supplementary angles. You have four lines here to the right of your question here in 11. This is what they give you. And they also give you that B is a vertex. All right, so over here next to this, and I'm not sure if the uh, camera. Can, can see that or not, so I might move it. But next to it, you have those four lines. That's where you're going to draw your diagram. So the very first one, it says measure of angle ABC is 72 degrees, and it's a vertex. Well, first of all, let's talk about degrees and make sure we understand degrees. Hopefully this is big enough. If I draw a circle with a line, like we discussed yesterday, that is a diameter. This is 180 degrees. If I start here at zero, if I go a quarter of the way around the circle, that is 90 degrees. Mind you, I'm going counterclockwise. If I go another quarter, that's halfway, that's 180. I go another quarter, yet three quarters of the way, that's 270. And back around is 360. Okay. What if I go the other way, though? Well, the other way, I'm going to use a different color marker so we can see this. I'm still starting at zero. But now I'm going this way. Well, if I go a quarter, that's 90. If I go a half, that's 180. If I go another quarter, which is 3 quarter, I've gone 270. Or back around again, I've gone 360. D, 
degrees are always positive. So if I want to draw a 72 degree angle with B as a vertex, remember yesterday we talked about A being the middle of the circle? I want B to be a vertex. There's my vertex. Now I want to draw a 72 degree angle. I don't want to draw it more than that. I don't expect you to get out a, uh, a compass and figure this out. So let's do this. This would be perpendicular. This is an imaginary line. All right. I can't see it. Well, you can, but this would be 90 degrees. I want to start at zero, zero degrees, and I want this angle that includes B as a vertex, ABC, I want it to be 72 degrees. I want it to be somewhat realistic. Well, halfway between zero and 90 would be what? That would be 45 degrees. So, if this is 45, roughly, 70 has to be somewhere between 45 and 90. Maybe right here? Okay. You're going to say that's 72. It's approximate. It's okay. It's not way over here. You're not going to make this a 72 degree angle. You're not, you're not going to convince me that this is 72 degrees. It's more than 90. That's not at least somewhat, even though even faintly realistic. Now that I know this, all right, here's my diagram. This is what it's going to look like. Now, oops, except that's 72, not 70. Now, the measure of angle ABC. All I have to do is put in my A and C, and it doesn't matter. I could put A up here and C down here, or vice versa. It doesn't matter as long as B is in the middle. All right? Maybe later it might, but for right now it doesn't. Now that I've drawn my diagram, and the only reason it took so long is because I, I, I was explaining degrees, now I need to create my equation. G, X plus 72 equals 180, subtract 72, and x is equivalent to 108. There. This is my work for question 11. A little bit more complicated than 6, but basically the same. They just want you to draw a diagram. All right? You need to do uh, question 7, 8, 9, and read Google Classroom. It'll tell you. Don't worry about 10, 12, 13, and 14. Show your work. No work, no credit. It's been that way all year long. No work, no credit.